Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the Pablo Intango pen tablet that's made for creating digital art. In case you don't know what a pen tablet is, this is something you have to connect to your computer. So while you draw here, you have to look at the display of your computer. Let's start with the disclaimer. This is a review unit provided by the company. For my video, I'm just going to present to you my findings so that you can decide whether or not this is worth the money. This pen tablet is available in two sizes, small and medium. This is the medium one, which is priced at US $73. The smaller one is US $56. Just to give you the bottom line up front, this pen tablet has pretty good drawing performance. The dial and shortcut buttons work well and the textured drawing surface provides a nice tactile drawing experience. There are a few downsides for this. The first one is the pen supports tilt sensitivity. However, tilt doesn't work consistently. So if you're someone who uses tilt brushes, that would be a deal breaker. The second downside is the driver doesn't support display switch. So this tablet is going to be inconvenient if you use a dual display setup. It's going to be inconvenient to move the cursor from one display to the other. The third downside is you can't customize the right click functionality to this button that's closest to the pen tip. You can only customize right click to this button here. I should also mention that if you draw diagonal lines slowly, there is the diagonal line wobble. Vertical and horizontal lines are alright. Just that diagonal lines that are drawn slowly will have wobble. With my usual drawing speed, I don't really see the diagonal line wobble issue yeah drawing performance uh, looks all right to me with my usual drawing speed so that's the bottom line and now let's take a look at the items included in the box there is one artist glove a microfiber cleaning cloth a 1.5 meter long USB A to USB C cable, the Pablo P08 pen, a pen stand with eight replacement nibs in it, and one nib remover, USB A to USB C adapter, USB A to micro USB adapter, quick start guide and safety info, some stickers, and a bookmark. The pen tablet can be used with Windows, Mac OS, and Android devices. So these micro USB and USB-C adapters are for use with Android devices. The company currently sells three pen tablet series. There is the Pablo Intango series, which I consider to be the mid-range series. There is the Pablo Ninos, which is entry level, which is even more affordable. And there is the Pablo A series, which are the older pen tablets. So. The Pablo Intango series are the newer tablets from the company and this is a nice looking design. The build quality is very solid with very little flex. And this tablet is available in two sizes, 10 by 6 inches, which is this one here. And this is considered medium size. There is the smaller size, which is 8 by 5, which is also quite a comfortable size to work with. Generally speaking, I would recommend you go with a 10 by 6 inch pen tablet because this size is very comfortable to work with and it pairs really well even with really large displays like 27 inch displays. This pen tablet is available in two colors, black and lilac. The lilac one actually looks quite nice. There are eight physical shortcut buttons or hotkeys on the side and they have very firm feedback. They are customizable and they work really well. You can customize up to six functionality for the dial wheel and you can switch between the functions by pressing this button in the middle. And when you turn the wheel, you can hear this satisfying clicking feedback. At the top of the tablet is an area where it's curved. So you can place your pen here or you can use the pen stand. This is how thin the tablet is. And on the back, there are six rubber feet with good grip on the table. And this texture is even rougher than the drawing surface, which is quite nice. 
The USB A to USB C cable will go here. So this is an L shape braided cable. This is the Pablo P08 pen in lilac color. It's a lightweight pen with solid build quality. There are two customizable side buttons here. There is no eraser at the back. This pen is not powered by battery, so no charging is required. The pen supports tilt and slightly over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. There is very slight movement with the pen tip. The pen stand is also in lilac color and there is some weight to it. At the bottom is a big piece of rubber with good grip on table. And when you open this part here, you can see the eight replacement nibs and the nib remover. Let's see what the driver can do. There are drivers for Mac OS and Windows and the functionality for Windows and Mac OS drivers should be similar, except for Windows driver, there is this Windows Ink feature, which you may have to turn on or off if pressure is not working as expected. This is where you can customize the pen pressure by moving the control point. You can only move one control point, even though there are three here. This is where you can customize the side buttons on the pen. And as mentioned earlier, for the button that's closer to the pen tip, there is no way to set right click to this button. And if you look at the list, there is no display switch shortcut, which I need because I usually use my pen tablets with dual displays. And there is no display switch shortcut for this second button as well. This is the area settings where you can just leave as default. If you are a left handed user, you can have the orientation switch 180 degrees so that the shortcut buttons are on the right side. And this is where you can customize the eight physical shortcut buttons and the dial wheel. These are the shortcut options available for the hotkeys. So you can set mouse functions to those buttons. This display desktop will minimize all the apps and show you the desktop. This switch display functionality is actually the keyboard shortcut windows key and P, so it's some projection shortcut. It's not the cursor switch shortcut that I want. And this display driver is for this driver to appear when you press the button. And this is where you can set your own keyboard shortcuts. For the dial wheel, you can customize up to six functions and you can either choose from the pre-programmed shortcuts or just input your own keyboard shortcuts. This driver also allows you to create shortcut groups so you can create a group of shortcuts for specific apps that you use. Let's look at some line tests. Initial activation force of the pen is minimal. This is how thick the brush really is. You can get a very thin line by just applying very little or no pressure. As long as the pen tape is touching the drawing surface, you can get a line. So this is pretty good. When drawing slow diagonal lines, there is slight wobble. The app that I'm using here is Photoshop. I'm not sure if you can see the wobble. Let me try again. But it's not too bad in the sense that it doesn't really affect my drawing. But if you draw really slowly, you can see the diagonal wobble there. This is the line transition from thin to thick. Line transition is quite smooth. And this is me trying to maintain consistent pressure to draw lines with consistent width. And you can see again the diagonal line wobble because I'm drawing this really slowly. Pressure consistency seems to be fine, but it's just a wobble that doesn't look that great. You can draw dots very easily by tapping the pen and this will react to pressure as well. Tilt sensitivity doesn't work that well. 
you can see this cursor it's moving around randomly because it doesn't follow the direction of my pen tilt doesn't really work with photoshop so i'm trying to draw a circle with this broad stroke all the way around and you can see it doesn't work and this app is Critar and tilt doesn't seem to work here as well so for this circle the edges are darker which is what i want but for the second circle i drew it the same way but now the edges are darker inside whereas here the edges are darker outside so this is obviously not working as expected drawing tests are just drawing tests what's more important is whether i can get the line that i want when i'm actually drawing and i've got to say that the overall drawing experience is pretty good i can get the lines to taper quite nicely how the lines taper will also depend on the apps you use some apps will have better line tapers this app i'm using is affinity photo and it works fine let me just zoom out slightly yeah this definitely works fine let's have the red hair somewhere let's zoom out a bit more I don't actually use the shortcut buttons or the hotkeys on the tablet because I prefer to use my keyboard for all the keyboard shortcuts. And this is how the pen sounds on the drawing surface. The sound of the pen drawing on the tablet surface is quite satisfying. So I don't really have any issues when it comes to the drawing experience even though earlier on you may see the diagonal line wobble but when it comes to drawing it's really uh, a non-issue it is possible to use this pen tablet with an android tablet but there are a few things you need to know both tablets have to be used in vertical orientation so in this case the drawing surface area of the pen tablet is mapped to the android tablet there is no finger gesture support because this does not support finger gestures so if you need to undo zoom in and out you will have to use your finger on the android tablet there is no driver so you won't be able to customize the pressure sensitivity for the pen and you also won't be able to use those shortcut buttons pressure does work so you can draw thin lines you can draw thick lines but how well the pressure will work will depend on the app you use and if you want to customize the pressure sensitivity of the pen you will have to do so through the drawing app that you use if that feature is available if you have intention to buy this so that you can draw on your android tablet i would highly recommend you research to see whether or not your tablet actually has its own pen support for example this is the samsung galaxy tab s8 ultra which comes with the s pen so it has pen support and i can already draw on this tablet with this pen so it doesn't make sense to buy an additional tablet so that i can draw here while looking here but if your android tablet doesn't have pen input doesn't support a pen then yeah sure it makes more sense to get this so that you can draw with the drawing apps that are available on android and there are many good drawing apps available on android all right to conclude this is a good looking pen tablet with solid build quality and good drawing performance despite the issues with slow diagonal lines I was still able to get the lines to come out the way I expect them to. The downsides, tilt sensitivity doesn't really work. The driver doesn't have display switch functionality and you are not able to customize right click to this button here. 
on the pen. The pricing for the Pablo Intango is quite reasonable. It's US $56 for the 8x5 inch and US $73 for the 10x6 inch. If you have limited budget, you can go with the smaller one, which is still a good size to work with. But I do recommend getting 10x6 because this is just a more comfortable size to work with. Alright, if you guys are interested to get this tablet, check out the links that I have for you in the video description below. And if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section. See you guys in the next video. Bye!